Welcome back. This is Crypto Big Boss. I'm glad you guys took some time out of your day to listen to what I had to say about uh, this thing with Trudeau Challenger, Mr. Pierre Boliviera. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but this is going to be a great video. I hope you guys go ahead, like, subscribe, and share uh, this content because this is basically a showdown folks what we have is a guy that they're labeling as a populist pierre Poli poliviera is being called a populist and he's basically um over a party that he this uh conservative party that is going to be challenging mr justin trudeau's party and there's been a lot of things that people did not like about Mr. Trudeau. Okay. So the thing that's interesting about this is even though this is just one issue, one topic that uh, these candidates are going to be debating on and other candidates, um, we have to understand that this one about the money could be a big, big deal. Mr. Justin Trudeau is pretty much not a fan of crypto. Okay. They are levying all kinds of taxation and uh, requirements for visibility on those folks that decide to use crypto for anything. Whereas now you have this challenger, Mr. Pierre Poliviera, Polivieri, who wants to make uh, Canada the Bitcoin capital of the world, the crypto capital of the world. And he wants to give the power uh, regarding money back to the people. He is anti-banking establishment. So now all of a sudden, the people have a real choice between how you want your leadership to respond in this now crypto environment that is emerging. So it says here in this article on Decrypt, Pierre Poliviera, who is seeking to lead Canada's conservative, uh, conservatives has come out in favor of Bitcoin. He wants Canada to be the blockchain capital of the world. And like I said, Mr. Trudeau is not really uh down with that he's uh he's running to challenge uh of course he's um sitting up here in the uh, liberal party and he's not hearing it okay so the issue is this um what do the people of canada want for their future do they want more options with crypto and how do they want to proceed? Do they want to continue with the same leadership that is stifling crypto? Or do they want someone who is open to actually making uh, crypto a big part of their economy? Now, there's some people that want to make a joke about this and say, well, this ain't El Salvador, this is Canada. But it ain't got nothing to do with El Salvador. It really has to do with the people and for the first time possibly in Canada's uh, history, this is not a joking matter. It is a actual real topic of discussion, a real issue, a real choice. So we need to be watching what happens as this election process unfolds and see what the people decide to do. Um, I think this is going to be interesting, especially since uh, Vitaly Buterin apparently lives in Canada. And there are others who are big time pro uh, crypto evangelists and who own companies that use crypto that reside in Canada. So to see this unfold in real time is going to be very interesting. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll keep watching to see what happens in Canada's election. And we'll see if Mr. Pierre Poliviere uh, actually becomes um, the leader of Canada. What does he really?
really do. We'll have to wait and see. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one.